Hello everyone, welcome to my micro let's play. This is Mike as usual. So on the last episode we got our majestic bees. That went pretty well. Uh, meanwhile I haven't done that much. Uh, I had uh, I was nearly out of cocoa beans, so I made this little cocoa bean farm here. I'm also planting some netherwork back there because we're running out. Uh, this is not pretty and it's not automated. I might find a way to automate it later on, but for now, uh, this will have to do. Uh, meanwhile, I'm also experimenting with something which I'm not sure if it work, will work. I have planted two nether warts around here. They are growing nice and slow, and I want to see if my golems manage to plant and uh, and harvest them in an automated way. If that works, that will be really nice. So apart from that, we are going to do some imperial bees today. And imperial bees, well, imperial bees, you can get, get them by mixing noble bees with majestic bees. I have a lot of noble drones. And I've prepared two majestic queens right here. One here and the other one right here. So I'm going to grab my... I'm going to do some extra even. I'm going to grab my soul flames. Do three more soul flames as well because since I'm working on two distinct apiaries that might come in handy. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I believe. No, I don't need that many. I just need one, two, three. Just one. So now what I need to do is place one of these side by side with the soul frame. And there I have just simple soul sand with the pregnated frame and I get soul frames. And apart from that, well, I prepared my majestic princesses and I have my noble drones, so let's see what I get here. I'm going to do the usual trick, so I'm going to have the chocolate frames almost until the end and on the last step I'll switch them to the soul frames. So I'm hoping that this one will be faster than this one. I have to monitor both of them. And once I have impeeled these, I'll start to have royal jelly. Now, I want to have as much royal jelly production as I can, so that I can start building some alvearies. And alvearies will, well, will let me start producing, mass producing actually, things with ease. And that will be nice because I want to produce some, well, for example, diamond or emerald bees, maybe probably emerald bees, which will be really useful to trade with villagers. For example, I also will have to do any times, well, within the next episodes, I'll probably do a small nether run because I'll need some nether gas tiers, nether uh, gas tiers, and uh, well, some other materials, maybe a bit more of soul sand to make more soul frames. But I'll need to grab all of those from the from the nether, and without them, well, I won't be able to start working with genetics. So I'm going to show you the first step, as usual. <coughs> this is quite simple. I just need to wait. Look, last step, so you are so French for you. And this one is also on the last step, so here you are, so French for you. These will go here, and so that I can keep them paired, so that they all, they all decay at the same rate. Let's call it that way. Let's see how lucky we get. So our objective is Imperial Bees. A few more steps and we will have them. Here this is going more or less the same place. And well, I already have 11 bee species. Can't wait to fill these. Also the next bees that I want to do are industrious as well. To get some pollen and well, from there on, we'll start well doing some experiments. Uh, I want to finish that ancient bee that I had found. That's one of the things that I want to do. 
and I will get her by mixing Noble and Diligent Bee, so this will not be much of an issue for me. And well, for now, this is what I know about bees. I don't know that much more apart from this, but I'll discover it soon. So we are nearly there. Our bees are almost, almost there. And look, we have Imperial Drones. Mm, nice. I have too much stuff in my inventory. Which is not nice at all. Even some cobblestone. I can leave. And okay, I will not need these. Neither these nor these. And I need a lot of space. So this can stay here as well. I'll leave the rest. And noble, majestic. Well, this didn't go that well. But this one went pretty well. So <clears throat> let's start by checking what I have here. I have two majestic drones, a couple of imperial drones. Well, let's see what's behind door number one. So I get a majestic noble princess, which is not that good. And I have some majestic noble hybrids. Okay. And here I have some imperial noble hybrids. And another imp a pure imperial, nice. This one is the best. Great, 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 great. Yeah. Okay, this is the way to go, but I need more. So I'm going to breathe this majestic noble. Well, why not? With the majestic noble. <laughs> Seems fair to me. So this is my pure imperial drone. Okay. And on this side. I'm going to use this as a fence to protect, protect, doesn't protect anything, but to separate them out. Right? This side doesn't, doesn't seem to have gone as well, so I have a noble imperial, this, well, doesn't look that bad at all. I have another noble imperial here, okay. Here I have a majestic noble, okay, a majestic noble. And another majestic noble. And suddenly it's night time. Great. Let's go sleep. This is the first step. I'll probably cut any time now. Because else this video will be boring. We can't have that. But, well, it's daytime. So, now what? I'm never sure about what I should breathe. To get the best results. Well, I have an Imperial, Noble Imperial, and an, um, another Noble Imperial. I might as well beat her with my pure Imperial. That might be a possibility, or I might be breed these two. No, but I'll go for the Imperial Noble. This is the pure Imperial. Okay, let's try and breed these two. Let's see what you get. So, these two come together. Wait, I made a mistake. This is my Noble Imperial, and this is my Imperial Noble. One, two, three. This, okay. <clears throat> this will stay. And these will come here. And here, I won't step behind. I'm going to leave my bees. Not here, but here. I don't need these three. I want to keep these there. Not, no, not yet. Neither here. Let me see. They should do one more step and then I'll insert my soul frames. Okay, there you are. Time for soul frames. Okay. And this is the process. There, there's not much else to it. It's just a question of having a bit, little bit of luck. This is a pure imperial drone, and this, this will be really good. Let's see what we get here. We might have luck, we might not have luck. And this one, no. Well, I guess, well, I, I, I'm almost done on this side, and I'm almost halfway through on this side. Well, I'll show you this next iteration. If it doesn't work, I'll cut my video here, and well, I'll show you the next steps.
because I already said it before. Wait, you need to. Yeah, this is just to be sure. This might not do that well. On the other hand, this one. No. Let's see what we have now. Come on, these die, die. Okay, so I get an Imperial Drone, a Princess, and a Majestic. Let's see what they are actually. So this is a Majestic Noble. Not that good. A Pure Imperial? Another one? Great. I wonder if the, these stack. No, they don't stack. And I got a Majestic Noble Hybrid. So... No. This didn't go that well. I'm going to try. Well, this was also majestic. Noble. Well, let's breed these two. And insert these three here and get these here. So this is not wanted. And I need to check this tree farm once again. I'm, I'm tired of breaking these leaves. This is. I'm going to leave these here. So, meanwhile, this has ended. This one is still beginning. So, let's see here. Oh, this is better. If I have two apiaries, I can always be checking on all these. So, this is once again a pure noble, which I didn't anticipate. This is imperial noble, and this is imperial noble. Guess I'll be needing some majestic bees. And this side is still working, so I can grab some majestic bees here. Okay. Not this many. This will be enough, I believe. So let me breed my pure noble princess with some majestic drones. Because like this, this won't work. And these are Imperial Noble ones, I'll keep them here close to me. Meanwhile, this side, yeah, this side already requires some soul frames. Well, it will take a while, so I guess I'll cut here. Well, I might do one full video, but it will be boring. Well, I'm asking this myself too many times, so I'm really going to cut here. So, I'll be right back if I get some results, and this might take me taking some iterations but well any tips are welcome so if you if you see that I'm doing something wrong and feel the urge to help me and to correct me and tell me no no Mike it's not that way you should do it the other way around please go ahead and teach me because until I get genetics this breathing process is really really boring it takes a while it's fun because sometimes you get nice and funny results you don't expect like the ancient princess but, well, let's just see how many iterations it might take. This side, okay, well, well, I'll, I'll show you at least the result. If I get an Imperial V, Imperial Princess, I will not cut here, I promise. But if I don't, I'll cut right here, so, come on, I'll we hear the drum rolls, and we will get an Imperial Queen. Or maybe not. No, noble princess. So I'm going to cut here and I'll be right right back. Okay, everyone, this has got to be a sign. This is my first little bit of royal jelly. Yeah, nice. Uh, suddenly I had a lot of pure imperial drones, so I had one majestic imperial and I'm, I'm breeding her with all of the imperial drones. I don't know if I should keep the chocolate frame or not. Because I want the mutation to happen, but I don't know if I, when I'm breeding bees to change them and I already have the result, I will usually keep the chocolate frame because it turns it faster. So this one will surely, I'll surely sh change like this. Yeah, no, yeah, I got the imperial princess. Wait, let me just 
switch these. Okay. So let me see. Maybe we hit gold. Yeah, baby. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So I got an pure imperial drone. Yes. And I got a pure imperial princess. Yes. 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 Great. And I got the majestic drone. Okay. So what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm never sure of what I should do. I'm going to glue these two. So I peel both of them. And in the end, I'm going to switch these onto Soul Frame. And I don't need this one. I'm going to put him in this trash can. Yeah, I'm trying to do it on two APRs at the same time. Maybe it's too much, but it makes things a bit faster, so yeah, I'm really sure that this is the best way. And I already have an Imperial Princess Queen, actually, you know. So let's see how this turns out. If I get something Imperial-like, and if I get, I will breed it with Imperial Drones. And, well, I don't know if it will work, wait, no. This doesn't look that good. So here I have Majestic Princess. No, she's Majestic Noble. This is Noble Imperial. Okay, slightly better. And this is Pure Noble. So I have to be there with Noble Drones. Yeah. This. So I have your chocolate frames back. And I'm going to keep the Noble Imperial. And I'm going to put the Pure Noble inside the trash. Oh, I might as well. Kick these out. This is very noble. So I have my three pure and pure bees here. Meanwhile, this side, yeah, she's almost done. So let's give her some soul frames that might mutate her into, uh, well, let's call it a normal imperial bee. Yeah, I believe this is the best way. So if I want to keep the bees stable, and I have some traits that are out of the usual, I'll use chocolate frames or normal frames. But if I want to breed them into the standard bees, as far as I have experimented with, the best is to use the soul frames. I use that to make my my majestic queens and princesses uh, turn into a, a bee that has four offspring. And I believe this will do the trick as well here. So, yeah, I think this is going pretty well. Let's see what I get here now. It's nearly done. On this side it's not done yet. It needs one more step. This is almost yeah. But yeah. So I'm going to put soul frames in here. Let's check this side. She's nearly dead. Come on, I hear the drum rolls. Yeah. Ooh, nice. I think I got pure imperials, which is actually exactly what I wanted, so... No, she still has the fast rate, and the slower she's not stable yet. The rest is always the same. And what about these? They are slow, slow workers. But they have a normal lifespan, yeah. Well, let's do the same over and over again. I don't know what I will get, but... Meanwhile, on this side, sorry, that this is, is almost done as well. Let's just see the outcome here. Hey, ooh, nice. Why? Why in hell? Where where did the regeneration effect come from? I wonder if this is an effect of the imperial bees. So. Uh, let's see. Yeah, great. Yes. So they are already giving me the regeneration effect. This is nice. Wait, I was not expecting this as well. Okay, this is. I don't know why, but this side doesn't want to mutate into the bee that I want. I don't. I don't understand why. Well, I have nobles now. It's not a pure noble, but 
Maybe majestic mode. So I will do some majestic key. So let's do it all again from the start. Well, that is not going as well as I wanted, but please go to the trash can. Yeah, baby. And well, I'll cut here and I'll be right, right back. Hello, I'm back. I seem that I got the hang of it. So, this is what I've learned from experimenting now. And I, w I didn't know about this, but I, I feel this is the right thing. So, this is how it works. If I have two Bs and I want to mix them and get the resulting mutation, then I always have to use soul frames. So, if I wanted to have a B that's the result of the mutation between a majestic and an imperial I will use soul frames by luck there is nothing like that and that's how I got my my ancient princess now I understand it but if I want to breed these two and have the the natural offsprings which will be which would be an imperial with well hopefully imperial that's my objective then I should only use the chocolate frames but on the other hand if I want to purify a bee and uh, have le let it have its natural traits. Then I should breed it with itself and use the the soul frames so that it further mutates into the well. Let's call it the natural bee. So what I'm going to do now, I got this majestic imperial hybrid here. So I'm going to breed her with one of these imperial drones. Uh, there's one. There's one step further that already has the effect so this one I'm going to breed it with this imperial and I'm going to let her breed I'm not going to switch the frames meanwhile here I'm switching frames so that I can perfect my imperial lead and well that's almost done and I've learned a lot here so my further B crossings or B breedings will be a bit faster now since I understood this trick I think I understood it right, but well, if there are some extra tips you can give me, they are all welcome, and I want to to learn all about them. But for now, this seems to be the the right way to do things. At least for me, from all that I've experimented with, this really seems correct. So let's just see what the outcome here is. I'll probably get further. A bee that's further up in the well, in the normal imperial bee type, and hopefully on the other side I'll get further imperial bees and well, whatever comes out of that breeding. So I've I've learned a lot really now. This time it looks really really good. So let's see. So yeah, she has that. The epiphic trait here. I don't know if they should be faster or normal, but I'm not pretty worried about that. Okay, and this one. Yeah, just a question of choosing between these two, which actually look pretty much the same. So I'm going to do these two here. So for the soul frames and the chocolate frames. And meanwhile here, well, this might take a while. I'm going to finish. Wait, I got an imperial drone here. Let's see. Let's see what I have here. So, this is still a majestic imperial. Okay, this looks good. This is also majestic imperial. Okay, and this is a pure imperial. Okay. I'm going to do these two here, so like this. And I'm going to cut here, I'm going to finish this bee breeding, and once I finish it up and I have my imperial bees then I'm going to to finish the this episode. So I'll be right back once I finish my bees. I'm back once again, so I kept on breeding my majestic bees. With the my majestic imperial hybrid with imperials, so I got the imperial princess and some majestic drones. So 
this is the right way. It took me some iterations. I don't know, this apiary has some problems. It's not mutating bees for some weird, strange reason. But now all I have to do is pick up one of these imperial drones. And I don't have the special effect. I believe one of these has already. If it's this one. Yeah, this one. So I'm going to do her with this piece. She's going to lose traits, but but this stays here. And these can up here. I'm going to put these two inside my chest here. And these are going to be trash. And I'm going to store my majestic and my Noble drones because I don't need them inside my storage. So much plastic and noble. Great. So what we have here? Uh, I think I did something wrong back here. Not here, but here. Oh no, this is here. So, well, I'm nearly done. This is taking a bit too long. I'll finish these bees and perfect them into the well, a stable bee farm at least. And uh, once I'm done with it, I will have imperial bees and I will start producing royal jelly. And well, within maybe I'll keep these two to make the extra, to do the extra, extra royal jelly because I will need a lot to build my apiaries. And well, the next step right after is genetics and some more bee breeding for the one. I want to have all these species, but. I think for now, this is this pretty much sums up my imperial bee for the uh, breeding, and well, it was nice. We discovered some tricks, and we also got scared of the healing effect of these bees. That was funny as well. And well, hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to post any comments to subscribe my channel if you enjoyed it, and well, as usual. All input is welcome, so if you think that there's something that I could be doing in a better way, then please say it out loud. I want to learn as much as I, as I can. I've learned a lot in this episode regarding to frames. And well, I hope you have, you've had fun watching this video. And see you next time. Bye bye.